Welcome to lecture three, synthetic phonics. Within this lecture, we will explore how we use synthetic phonics in order to teach children to read and write in the early stages. We'll take a look at theory behind synthetic phonics and what this means for us in our practice. So why synthetic phonics? In synthetic phonics, letters and their sounds are taught in a highly structured, systematic way. This is to ensure that basic skills are firmly embedded in order for us to then introduce children to more complex phonemes and graphemes. So let's have a look at the research behind synthetic phonics. Sir Jim Rose examined the advantages of phonics through long-term data, and this resulted in the 2006 Rose Report. Along with the simple view of reading, he identified five competencies that children should be able to demonstrate in order to become successful readers. These included recognition of letters and groups of letters, such as digraphs, the ability to sound out phonemes, the ability to hear and blend phonemes, the reading of phonically regular words, and the reading of some irregular words. So now we've briefly explored the Rose Report, we're going to look at what this means for today's practice. Since the report, there's been lots of evidence documented that outlines the benefits of teaching young children to read and write through phonics. And subsequently, the government released their Letters and Sounds Non-Statutory Synthetic Phonics Guidance Document. This outlines the systematic approach to introducing phonemes and graphemes through phases 1 to 6, as well as outlining tricky words to be covered for reading and spelling within phases 2 to 6. So let's bring all this together. We now know that synthetic phonics is a well-researched, evidence-based approach that allows children to learn the skills in order to become confident and independent readers and writers. Through synthetic phonics, letters and their sounds are taught in a highly structured, systematic way, where children learn to associate written letters or graphemes with phonemes. Children can then blend sounds together to build words for reading, or, on the other hand, whole words can be broken down and segmented into sounds for writing. It's important to note that synthetic phonics differs from the analytical approach as children learn to listen for sounds and build words rather than learning to recognise the shapes of whole words. 